What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, I'm showing you something special. This game is called Legend of Kendor. Uh, so Legend of Kendor sort of seeks out to like answer the question, what would happen if you mixed the Binding of Isaac with Nuclear Throne and then you mixed it with like Vampire Survivors and then you entirely divorced it from any sense of like meta or scale or decency? Uh, that's what Legend of Kendor is. The developer sent this over this morning and to quote the email, I have to release my game now or my wife will leave me. It's been five years and it's time. So here we are, <laughs> checking out Legend of Kendor. I've done three or four runs of the game and this game is effectively a crime against dopamine. Uh, this is a game where you are going to fight huge hordes of enemies. Most of them are one-shottable. They die instantly in a huge shower of coins and loot. You pick up so much gear and so much money that you don't even know what you picked up, and you just keep on smashing and destroying enemies. But look, here, you can pet the kitty. There you go. Uh, you can pick from four characters as of right now in the current build of the game. You can be a wizard. You can be Leonidas. Uh, you can be an archer. I like Leonidas the best, so I'm going to be Leonidas. He comes with a big spear that does like a straight attack, like right there. Uh, you can eat food, so the UI up here, we've got our health at the top, we've got our stamina underneath that, we've got our money, we've got our bombs, and we've got our keys. The goal of the game is to go out into the great wide world, free roam, annihilate thousands of monsters, accumulate obscene amounts of money, there's no metagame, like you don't upgrade anything in between runs. You're, you're slaughtering purely for dopamine's sake. That's it, for the jingling of coins and the huge stack of items that make you ridiculously overpowered. Let's go. All right, so maybe play through a tutorial level. This is what the game looks like right here. It controls very simply. W, A, S, and D allow you to move. Uh, with your space bar, you can do something. I don't remember what. With shift, you can dash. With your left click, you're going to do a stab move, and enemies are going to die in a huge shower of coins. If it seems underwhelming compared to the description that I gave you just a minute ago, don't worry about that. It's going to get intense pretty soon. I can drink from the well to get my stamina back. We've got seven bombs and one key. Uh, the goal of the game is to accumulate XP, kill stuff, enchant your weapon, become stronger. You can see your stats right here. You can modify things like your damage, your attack speed, your armor, your run speed, your stamina recovery, your power with a bow. You can also use this menu to check all the, the relics that you've picked up. So we've got a Dragon's Emerald, which gives us an extra HP. Uh, we've got Baphomet's Burning Heart, which makes our attacks explode. We've also got the Delicious Kraken Tentacle which makes it so that our stamina regenerates a little bit faster. When we level up, we get to pick between HP and damage. You just mouse over the one you want, and you press the E key, and as you can see, our damage just went up by one on that side. Some kind of confirmation with an animation would be nice for each one you pick, where it's like, boom, like Dragon Ball Z flames, and like a raw like noise. Uh, but other than that, you know, not that big of a deal. We can close that on down, and it looks like we can kind of go in any direction that we want to go in right now. There's a statue over here. I don't know what it does. Apparently, it just gives me random items for money. Cool. And that apparently brought us back to the tavern, so we're done with the tutorial. Let's go ahead and murder some enemies on in here. Uh, we can kill the guys that we're trying to rescue on the field of play, so that's just something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah, and I mentioned this entire game revolves around the fact that a dragon is trying to murder us. Did I just eat a poo? Why did I eat a poo? I thought maybe the poo was an item that was going to get added to our inventory. Now I'm all slow. Ugh, brutal. All right, we'll kill off a couple more guys. We'll loot a ton of coins, and we'll go to the next map. Enemies, where are you at? Ooh, I've got an enchantment scroll right now on my F key. There we go. Now I've got a plus one spear. As you upgrade your weapon, it's going to do more awesome things. Uh, the dragon's trying to get us, so maybe we just kind of get out of the way of that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, that lady just soaked an arrow for us, but I'll try to rescue her for the XP. That guy right there, try to rescue him before he gets killed by the fart gas that comes off the flower. And we'll break... Oh, dragon's coming back. Luckily, the dragon is sort of indiscriminate about what it murders. It doesn't really care. So, like, don't stress about it too much. When we pick up food, it gives us stamina back. Uh, what else do we have going on in here? Break through some crates. Maybe kill that giant plant, rescue a lady down there to get a level up. I'll deal with my level ups in just a second. We're level five. I'll take some damage. I'll take, actually, two damages, an HP, and another damage. So now we deal ten damage with our spear. I need to find some more enchantment scrolls, though. As you upgrade your spear, it starts to do, like, a split attack where it fires multiple projectiles. With your right click, you can do a special attack. It's basically like a big heavy laser that you fire on out. Uh, let's go to the right, I guess. That sounds good. Oh, it's a shop. 
Okay, so this lady will buy any relics that you don't want out of your inventory, and this lady right here will sell you food that lasts for one day. However, I don't see a clock or anything, so I'm not exactly sure. I think it's the timer right there, but I don't know how long it lasts for. It lasts for a while, all right? I haven't had to worry about my buffs falling off very much. Now let's go ahead and wipe out a couple more of these orcs over here. Really bad day to be out in the orc hood. This is a bad time to be wandering around. Get that guy right there. I can stab him through the walls because I'm just that talented. Get my stamina back from the well. There's lots of deformation and destruction in this game uh, from things exploding and dying and bombings and all that kind of stuff. I can destroy the walls, by the way. If we see anything hidden inside the walls, like secret rooms or whatever, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can blow those open to go where I want. What's this over here? The Dead Grove? Okay, let's dive on into the Dead Grove and just kind of see how things go. I can't get that chest because I don't have any keys left. Are there no bad guys around here? Is it just like a small transition zone? Oh, it must be. All right, well, here's some bad guys over here. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Uh, we're about to get got by the dragons, so I'm going to dodge out of the way of that and pick up that sigil. I have no idea what it does, but it's mine now. Uh, murder that guy, rescue her, rescue you for the XP. I've got a key so I can open that chest right there, get a ton of money, another item. I'll probably go through my items in just a minute to see what I have going on in all honesty. I don't even know what I've collected along the way. Some kind of pop-up off to the side of the screen that the item pops up and it's like, ka-ching, like anime style. And it gives you like a little scrolling of text that tells you what it does might be helpful. But what we've got right now is we've got a Tanky's Forgotten Ring, chance on killing to heal yourself. We've got the Necklace of Attraction. We pick up stuff from further away. We've got a Philosopher's Stone, which brings us back with one health when we would otherwise die. We've got the Gargoyle's Right Eyeball, which gives us more gold off of enemies. Okay, sounds good. Honestly, I don't really pay attention to any of the items that I pick up in this game. I just kind of, like, grab things willy-nilly. Uh, we've got Enchantment Scrolls over here, so I'm going to enchant my spear. Can I afford any of these? There we go. Give me that one right there. There we go. Now that we have a plus three spear, I think we should get multi-strike pretty soon, but I don't know. This guy right here will, like, give you a random weapon at a random enchantment level. This guy just lets you gamble with chests. Uh, if I was to throw, like, if I had an attack, I could blow up all three of these guys, and then I could steal all their stuff. But I'm, a, I'm being a nice guy right now, okay? I don't want to be that guy. Kind of feels like a dick move to murder all these guys. Oh, we've got a darkness modifier in here. I've been shanked. I want my gold. Hold on. Oh, God. Murder indiscriminately in every direction. Oh, God. If I can stab fast enough, I might live. Uh, we got another eyeball of the gargoyle, which is going to increase the amount of money that we get. And now we're getting into the nitty-gritty of what I was talking about in this game being sort of a crime against dopamine. Uh, this is a game where you just stab things, and hopefully loot drops, and you pick it up, and there's so much of it that you didn't even realize that you picked it up. You kind of just mash your way on through and kill everything that looks at you wrong. The dragon took care of that one for us. Thanks, dragon. Appreciate that. That was nice of you. Do I want to go left or do I want to go up? I'm going to go up. Let's go up this way. What's up this way? Uh, more orcs. Not surprised. Uh, there's an enemy right there and a spider right there. Give me all your gold. Okay. Dodge backwards. Dodge back. Oh, I got stabbed. Okay. Stabbed in my face. It stings. Uh, there's a slime over here. We'll try to kill that guy. I don't know who's financially supporting all these slimes in this economy, but apparently they're doing a good job because these slimes wealthy out here. Uh, keep on stabbing and murdering. Keep on stabbing and murdering. There we go. Uh, another key and a whole bunch more money. I love it. Oops, I accidentally killed my own guy. That's my bad. Uh, you can kill the hostages that have been kidnapped by the dragon on accident. Oh, there's a big spider right there. Go away, spider. All right, what am I looking at? There's got to be somebody left because the gate's not open. Who's left? Did I miss an enemy over here somewhere? Doesn't look like I missed an enemy, but like... I don't know. It feels like I missed an enemy. Oh, apparently there was an enemy. I don't know where he was at, but the dragon just killed him on accident and the gate's opened. Uh, that's a challenge door. It's going to take you somewhere bad, and I've lost most of my characters by going down into those, so I'm not going to go down into those. Oh, cool. We found a shop. Sweet, dude. I've got some monies. Uh, I could use some food. Yeah, that would probably be nice. I could definitely use some keys. So I'll take the key. What does this guy do? I can lend you gold, but you got to pay me back with interest. No, that kind of feels like a scam. I'm not into that, like, check into cash life. 
Can I get you to go away? You're in the way of this shop. Uh, let's see here. We've got the Hermes boots. Decrease your cooldowns and it doesn't seem expensive. We've got the Imp's Less Wing. Chance on hitting an enemy to kill it instantly. Increase your crit critical chance, but you get hungry more frequently. All right. I'll probably take the Imp Wing, I guess. That sounds all right to me. Uh, is there anywhere I can go from here? Sometimes the level generation can get a little bit weird. I think I can sneak out through right here. There we go. Uh, more Orcses to kill. I'm going to... Endeavor to kill as many orcs as I possibly can while not taking damage because that is the goal of the game. Health potion right there. Grab it real fast. We got like a fang or something. Uh, this lady's getting shot with a bow, so I need to rescue her like sooner rather than later. There we go. We've rescued her. I don't know where I want to go just yet. That'll take me back into the dead forest if we go right. But if we go left, it'll take us into somewhere. Uh, the Another forest, I guess. Lots and lost of foresty places to be. Uh, the dragon's coming on in. He's going to nuke everybody on that side, so I don't think we have to worry about it. I need to rescue this lady right here. I took damage for you, lady. I hope you appreciate it. I took damage for you. All right, what else we got going on? A little, little bit of healing right there. Crack that bad boy open. It replaced its own key. you love to see it. Where can I go? I can go upwards? Okay. Let me kill all these guys over here and wait for the bombing run to go through. Now that aerial bombardment has ceased. Oh, nice. We got, what does the teddy bear do? A price discount from all merchants. Well, first, I want that right there. And I'm going to enchant my spear up to level four. And then I'll pick that back up. Oh, we found another merchant right around the time I got the discount thing. All right. Well, do I have to use it or anything? While you have this bear, it doesn't do anything else. Okay, so we get, like, fatty discounts. Gotcha. Um, I'll take a key. And, yeah, I can gamble on some chests. Why not? A gamba. Uh, we got a plus one halberd. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty fun. I found that the attacks in this game actually feel pretty good. Like, they're pretty satisfying. And a plus three spear. I already have a plus four spear, so that's not quite as helpful. But I do want to take this halberd for a spin. I feel like I've earned it. Oh my god, okay, there's like a Minotaur in here. That's the worst. I hate everything about that. Uh, let me clear out all the little guys first, and then I'll deal with him in just a minute. If I don't die before I clear all the... Oh my god, there's so many in here. All right, well... It was nice knowing you guys. I don't really want to engage with him. Can anybody drop a potion or something? If you could drop a potion, that'd be great. All right. No! Okay, I got saved by my Philosopher's Stone. Almost ate that arrow right there. That was almost embarrassing. Oh, I got him. Nice. I bet the dragon's going to try to take credit for that one. He's going to be like, that was me. That was me. Uh, we've got a crown right there. We've got a few more enemies. The spear just gives me range, man. So, like, I like the halberd. It's fun to use. But, like, my health is so low that I need to, like, stay away from any potential threats, like, aggressively. All right, so our stamina is a little bad right now. It could definitely be better. I I'm not going to be able to dodge pretty soon. I think our best bet is hoping that the next room has, like, a merchant with food in it. Uh, no merchant with food, unfortunately. Wipe these guys out. Kind of. Oh, thank you, dragon. Thank you for your contribution to my safety. Almost ate that arrow. The hitboxes seem to be reasonably tight. Like, I haven't felt lately like I've gotten cheated on any of the attacks. Health potion! Give me the health potion. I need it. All right, keep on slaughtering. Oh, my God. Ooh, another health potion. We may actually bounce back from this. Maybe. It's hard to say. Yeah, maybe just throw some bombs into that room and... Oh, no, my... I've been murdered. Uh, so at the end, it's going to give you a synopsis of all the civilians that you rescued. It doesn't have any effect on the gameplay. It just gave you a bunch of level ups. I would like it, actually, if they did what Rogue Legacy has. And it actually went... And it did a little sprite of every single enemy you killed across the entire run. And then when it runs out of space, it would zoom out and do like a gadoosh sound to make room for even more to be ticked on through, dude. I think that would actually be really, really fun. All right, let's try a new character. We'll go with the wizard this time. I like wizards. Wizards are fun. Ooh, a sandwich? Don't mind if I do. 
Uh, this guy over here, he'll allow you to buy stuff, but I don't know how you get money to actually buy things from him. This guy has like a challenge mode that's not implemented in the game yet. I don't know. Ooh, point blank, huh? Okay, didn't like that. I do have a bomb, so I can blow that up to get a chest. Maybe I'll... Okay. One copper. I see how it is. You're just gonna troll me. Take out that goblin right there. We got a few more up that way. This guy's special attack is like a giant AoE. Oh, his gas actually. What does the chili pepper do? Probably just gives me stamina. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't know if I was gonna eat that right there. I wasn't super sure. Hit him. Uh, the dragon's coming. We'll break open this chest while we wait for the aerial bombardment to end. And I need to fill up my stamina. Let me go back over here and we'll grab this well. All right. We'll continue this way. What did I pick up? So I got increased max stamina. And I got chance on killing to heal an enemy or get healed. Okay. Uh, we're going to need HP on the wizard. So I'm going to take a little bit of HP right at the beginning just to get a tiny bit stronger. There we go. He's now down. Next room. I'm trying to get back into the thick of it on this playthrough. Uh, we've got a scroll of thunder. Okay. I'm going to upgrade my staff real fast so that I'm not wasting those enchantments. We could also use a little bit more damage. We don't have any keys, so I can't get into that chest over there. However, we do have a civilian over here, so I'll rescue him. Oh, now I have a key, and I got a little angel. All right, my cooldowns are lower. Sweet, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab this. And it replaced our key. You love to see it. We are the key master. Uh, let's go left, maybe. I feel I feel positive about left. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like left will betray me. So I want to have an extra. I can't afford it, though. I'm too poor, man. You guys have these exorbitant prices that I don't think any adventurer can afford. And it needs to stop. I'm trying to be somebody in this world, and inflation is out of control. All right, a little bit more money. I, oh, no, 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 no. Almost got me. Almost. Almost. Good pass, dragon. Good pass. I'm proud of you. All right, so let's kill off a few more orcs. Uh, there is absolutely, positively a werewolf over here. I don't know if I was going to dodge that or not. It was kind of hard to say. Get that guy right there. Eat a banana. Get a little bit of potassium in our system. Uh, oh, I don't have any bombs left. I was going to blow up that corridor because it's bad for a ranged character. But, like, eh, whatever. Rescue her. Get the relic. That's going to be a res stone so we can res one time after we die. We'll grab that right there. Let me refill my stamina at the well. And we can only go left or right. We can go to the snowy zone or we can go back into the forest. I don't know which one I prefer, but either way, that was a very wealthy werewolf right there that we knocked over. If you got to kill a werewolf, it might as well be a werewolf that's like, well, financially diversified, you know? Okay. Yeah, it took a little bit of damage right there. Got a little bit of a scuffing. You got anything for me? Just Mun Muns. All right, I'll take... Oh, there was a gold chest right there. I should have used the key on that. Oh, I don't have any bombs, though, so I could have gotten over there anyways. All right, let's keep on annihilating enemies here. Perfect. Uh, I'll take another... Oh, I'll take another damage. Almost got me. That was almost sneaky right there. Man, their bullets go through walls. My bullets don't go through walls. I feel cheated right now. Well, stop. Stop murdering my civilians. There we go. I want my civilian. Oh, a store. Very, very nice. Okay, so in the store, what do I want to do here? Let's see. Tomato-based chowder. It has a soul healing experience. Makes you run faster for a day. Gives you plus three damage for a day. I'll go for the soul healing experience. That sounds like something you could write an R&B song about. Ooh, we got a darkness modifier in here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to... Oh, I get hit with an arrow, too. Ow. Yeah, that was horrifically painful, and I hated every moment of it. Dragon, you're making this situation a lot more complicated than it actively needs to be. Uh, I'm kind of pinned right here. I don't even know where I want to go. Oh, my God. I definitely need that healing potion, or we're not going to make it. I've got a level up ready to go, too, but I'll deal with that in just a minute. Uh, just kind of like... Oh, God. Okay, so... Ah! Like I said, this game gets pretty wild and crazy. Let's try out the night guy. 
I find that the melee feels a little bit better in this game than the range does. I don't know. Like, I like, I like doing the melees. The melees makes me feel like I'm really cleaving my way through a horde, you know? Wipe these guys out. There we go. Just a little bit of ye oldy fashioned sword fighting. Uh, I'll take damage this time around. Yeah, give me damage. I want to hit things hard. I want them to get one-shotted. That's it. Like, I want to get back to the mayhem that I was putting out there with Leonidas. And I don't know how much damage that's going to take, but I will consistently put more points into damage until I can one-shot again. All right, got a free key right there. 500 bucks for my trouble. A little bit of grapes. I like grapes a lot, dude. Grapes are, like, probably one of my favorite fruits, in all honesty. Grapes are delicious. It kind of sucks, though. Like, grapes don't really have any nutritional value. Like, they're kind of like empty calories. Ooh, I got the thing that makes me shoot. I got chain lightning that comes out of my booty hole now when I'm near enemies. Uh, I got to get out of there. What does that do? Hit your foes to get more gold. Nice. Okay. I like gold, and I like hitting my foes. I feel like, ooh, we got another level up. Give me more damage. We're going all damage this run. Oh, it does. It, like, actually beats the change out of their pockets. Nice. Okay, grab that right there. Maybe try to get to that chest right there. There we go. We got a feather. What does the feather do? Uh, recover an HP, I guess. Huh. So it's like a healing potion, but like we were on full health, so I don't think it mattered. Grab my bomb, and then we will head north. To the north! Ow. I've been wooved. Sir, I need you to get out of the way. There's there's a dragon bombing happening. I feel like we should be able to put our present conflict to the side, and we should just be able to address the situation that there is a dragon trying to murder all of us indiscriminately, and maybe this conflict is unnecessary. All right, so what do we have here? We've got the Ring of Fendir. We've got decreased cooldowns, Griffin Feather. Um, or Enchantment Scrolls? I'll take an enchantment scroll. Yeah, let's upgrade our sword. That sounds good. I mean, we are using our sword like much more than we're using anything else in our inventory. There we go. What does this guy's special ability do? Hold on, I rescue you. Uh, and then I take one more damage. Uh, looks like he throws his sword. Ooh, we one-shotted, nice. Oh, we made it. We're in one-shot territory, boys. All right. Oop, I can't open that without a key, all right. Whoop him real quick. Go north. Just keep moving through the forest, man. The more I can kill, the better. All right. Got a little bit of healing right there. Get a little bit more monies. Beat the brakes off these kids. Ooh, a chalice. What does the chalice do? Spend one HP for full stamina. Do not use it when you have low health, you will die. Well, at least he clearly put that, because I'm the kind of player that sits here when I pick it up, and then I spam it a bunch of times to see if it'll kill me. And he just answered that question for me, so I appreciate that, noble developer. Thank you for spending your time to warn me and ward me away from my own stupidity. Um, I lost my food buff. What does that do? Three damage for a day. Makes you run faster. Three damage sounds good. I'll take the three damage. And blow up some trees. Yeah, get some free money. Wipe out a... Oh, that's a... Oh, no, that's a civilian. I got a saver. I was... I was whooping the... I was whooping the eyeliner off of her because I thought she was an orc hiding in the bushes. Like, I'm in, like, kind of like a killing rage right now. You've got to be really careful about the way you approach me. Like, I'm kind of doing that John Bernthal thing where I'm just like... Wah, wah, wah. Like, I'm going, like, straight Punisher mode, like, gouging people's eyes out with my fingers. Like, I'm in, I'm, I'm in like, a major killing spree right now. And people need to understand that. All right. Uh, let me refill my stamina from the well. And then maybe... I don't want to go to the elf woods. The elf woods hurt me. Oh, there's a werewolf. Oh, bombing run. All right. Let us continue our way towards the dragon. I got to do my level up, but I can't see good right now. My character's sword blocks bullets too, which is like the most raw thing ever. I love it. All you guys die, please. Yeah, I'm just like hacking and slashing wildly. Oh, he dropped a little chest. 
It has a plus one halberd in it. I don't want a plus one halberd. Can I do anything with the campfire? Or is the campfire just like a set decoration? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, yeah, that was a catastrophic end to a run. That's, that was, that was not what I wanted to have happen, but it's what happened, all right? It's what happened. Like, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm a little bit let down with my own performance. But yeah, this is uh, Legend of Kendor. If you're looking for an addition uh, to the Nuclear Throne arsenal, I think this is a good addition. Everything feels really nice with it. Uh, it's a game that's beer and pretzels. You can play it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and, like, do something with a run, have a good time, you know, have a whole bunch of items and things, and it's a good time. There's no meta progression. There's no additive stuff that happens in between the runs. Those things would be nice, but ultimately I think the game's core loop is solid enough and fun enough to where it doesn't necessarily need them either. This game is a dopamine fest. It has hit me in all the proper centers of my brain. Well done, developer. Uh, good luck with the marriage situation, and I will see you all later. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. Today we were checking out Legend of Kendor. Tomorrow we're going to check out something else. Thank you for spending your time with me. It's very, very kind of you, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.